Okay, so here we have this, and we're trying to make it become one of those. How can we do it? Well, these are not easy. You just It just takes experience and practice. I know right away as I see sine squared and I see cosines down here that I'm going to use the formula. Remember that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, and that if you, you can also maneuver that so that sine squared is 1 minus, if you jump this to the other side, or vice versa, if you jump the sine squared to the other side, cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. These are three very important formulas you want to have in your notes for the final exam because they come up, they come in handy a lot. And so right here, sine squared, that's 1 minus cosine squared. So this becomes 1 minus, and then the sine squared at the top is 1 minus cosine squared <clears throat> over 1 plus cosine. Now, what can we do with that? Well, now you've also got to remember, remember how to factor something like 1 minus x squared? Remember it's 1 minus x, 1 plus x? Remember that? You can check it right here. Let me just prove it's true. If I was to foil this out, I'd get 1 plus x, boom, boom, minus x minus x squared and these would cancel, and it'd be 1 minus x squared. So, <clears throat> 1 minus x squared is the same as this. Okay, so what? Well, that means this becomes 1 minus, on the top here, 1 minus cosine, 1 plus cosine. Do you get it? This right here breaks into those two. Right? If, if 1 minus x squared is 1 minus x, 1 plus x, then 1 minus cosine squared is 1 minus cosine 1 plus cosine. Same thing. Just like an x, but it's a cosine. So I use that right here. This 1 minus cosine squared becomes that. Okay, now why, why am I doing that? Well, because I, I can just see what's going to happen. See how this and this cancel now? So we get 1 minus 1 minus cosine, and then the minus distributes. Changes both signs, right? 1 minus 1 is gone. It's just cosine. It's just cosine. So that's the trick. There's a couple of tricks there. You gotta replace this sine squared with one minus cosine squared, then you factor it, then it cancels, then you distribute, and it's just cosine. There it is. That's pretty tricky. Just